Hello everyone, my name is Cinnamon the Toast Gillian, and welcome back to Dang and Rampa. In the last episode, man, we saw an execution. That last, the last one was brutal. The last execution, they've all been really brutal so far. And I'm not wearing my bear hat right now because I just went and exercised. Um, we unlocked another floor. We got some more items to unlock more areas. We're in the, in this guy's place and he's telling us all about some stuff. And he just asked me, by the way, Suichi, Shuichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Huh? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. Of all of them, the one I can find most interesting is a seance called the Cage Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and the iron cage over there are to be used in this very seance. <laughs> to discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me. You see. So would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? No. Nah, no thanks. I don't have any interest in the occult. Now, now, you mustn't dismiss as it's simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are of the utmost importance to anthropology. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement of the, all cultures, yes? No. Uh, yes, but talking to the dead. Hey. Have you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Huh? Speak with the dead? If that were possible, I suppose I could talk to her one more time. No. I uh, know, decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say, not yet. The only thing I want to say is we escaped. We finally get out of here. <laughs> that determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be blasphemy. Forgive me. One I must call myself. on them only at the appropriate time. I felt a shiver up my spine. Dun dun dun. So we found like the we unlocked this upstairs area. It was behind like this Mario looking door, but now it's like super creepy and spooky. Uh, let's go down this bloody hallway looking thing here. See what we can find. Ooh, Ooh. some heads have been knocked off of this stuff. Hanging scroll. The hanging scroll is just blank. Are all these blank? They are blank. Is there gonna be a ghost mystery? Ooh, a pretty door. Pretty door. The door to the ultimate lab. I'd say it's for art. Should investigate a little. Click, click. Hmm. It's locked. Huh. How boring. Yep, seems like it. Guess we can't go in. Hmm. But why is it locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Ah. Oh, by the way, this lab is some kind of rear entrance within the hallway. I'm disappointed. But it was locked too. Uh, um... Both doors are locked. How do we get inside? <laughs> Don't give up yet, because I have a secret tech. As if on cue, we heard a metallic clink in the lock opening, and the door slowly opened. <laughs> you lock yourself in there? Yahoo! Can I help you? Hmm. Angie, what are you doing in here? Hey. I feel, I feel weird chatting out here, so let's all go inside, okay? I'm pushy. Yahoo! Come in, come in, please come in! Ever polite, Angie inv invite us to the lab anyway. Well, at least she's not trying to keep us out of it like uh, the ultimate assassin is. Okay, that's paint, right? That's not blood. It's all black paint. There are various art and carving tools. Makes sense for the ultimate artist's lab. Hmm. But why does this lab have locks? It's true. He says this classroom is probably made for me. Huh? What does that mean? Here they are again. Leave it to me. I'll answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice. Ah. Wait a second. I said I was going to answer that question. What? No, you, we didn't, and your memory is getting even worse, Montaro. You promise, because I don't remember you not promising. That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up your butt and then shove it in your mouth and rattle your morals around. Your molars around. Yeah, that's unsanitary. But wait, Monodam, we, we weren't fighting. We just messed around, you know, because we're friends. It's fine. As long as you're getting along. So? So, what's up with the key? Actually... Oh, yes. Angie's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Yeah. Maybe... I must shout out all people in noise so that I can be one with the great Atua. Oh, wait. She's, she's redneck. I keep forgetting. Nyahaha! Atua is much too shy to come with me in front of people. Hmm. Wow. Like a porn star. <laughs> it's the opposite. And then? So, any room where I'm gonna make art needs I have I have to yeah. have a key but I'm surprised that Monica's knew that huh hmm. and these are my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools how did you know 
Yeah, how do they know? How do they know all about us? Um, what, what I should have said? I'm not a good improviser. C -c Calm down, I'm even worse. We know everything about you, bastards. <laughs> because we want to be your friends. I don't want to be friends with you. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with knockoff products. Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? I won't forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. Now, now, Mono Dam, we haven't given them the key to this room, have we? Okay, here it is, but there's only one key, so don't lose it. Okay. Be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to, to lock the door or open it from the outside. So then. Let me see that key. I'm gonna have him swap the key, Mono Fame, and then lift it in his mouth. Nom, nom. <laughs> he ate it! Ah. He swallowed it! Beep, beep, beep. Oh, he's flatlining! Uh -oh. What are you doing if you swallow that key? You're definitely choke on it! Someone might use this key for murder. Because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it would be too late. I want everyone to get along. Oh, Monodam, you're so reckless. Aww. Let's carry Monodam away for now. <clears throat> we'll carry him like a kind of boss taking care of a drunk employee. So long. Farewell. Well, I guess he took the key, so now you can't lock yourself in here. Oh. Unless you're actually in here by yourself. Whoa. She can lock herself in here and murder someone. Does that mean you can't get the key? What the heck? Uh. But I'm only gonna lock this door. I'm inside working, so I don't care if I can't open or close the door from the outside. Ah. Oh, I guess that's fine then. By the way, those guys said they know everything about us, right? Yeah, that's probably why this lab fits Angie tastes so well. So does that mean the second school is especially made for us? Or the second school, excuse me, this school is especially made for us. Where's his room at? I want to find Kokichi's room. Monokume claimed it before, but is this really possible? This giant complex is built for the 16 of us? Only Atua knows it's a miraculous sure. mystery that only Atua knows, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Uh, yep. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. <laughs> That's true. Are we supposed to be okay with that? I don't know, man. Uh, I'll investigate around here a little more. All right, let me investigate. Uh, there, this looks like that's about it right there. <laughs> it's just this big thing. What's this heap of stuff? It doesn't look like a wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wax for making wax sculptures. Oh my God, are we gonna... <laughs> House of Wax, that horror movie. Flashbacks. Hmm. Wax sculptures, huh? You can make those, Angie? Yeah, yeah. Un unlike wood or stone, wax has a soft texture for sculpting. Oh. Oh, but a two is the one who's going to be doing the sculpting. Okay. But, but... but it seems like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death masks used to be made from wax. A wax death mask, that's kind of scary. The doors, the one we used to come in. Um, this door's super crappy. I'm guessing this is the rear entrance. See? See, it's got a sliding lock just slapped on there. If I remember correctly. All right, the door we used. Yeah. The door has a cylinder lock. Hmm. Hmm, the classroom has two different kinds of locks in the doors. That's mildly infuriating. No, no. No, 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 that's perfect. They're not the same. Uh, symmetry is a Western beauty idea. They like symmetry and golden ratio and such. And then? But I think asymmetry and partition functions are more beautiful. <laughs> I don't really get it, but I suppose that makes sense. I can't stay long. I still have to focus on the flashback light. I have other places to check. All right, so there's the sliding lock which may possibly be able to open from the outside. And then there's the cylinder lock, which you can probably pick. Here's the back door, let's give it a look real quick. All right, cool. Oh, that's new. There are fewer plants than before. Maintenance is progress progressing well. I knew it. It's becoming more and more beautiful, just like me. Hmm. Oh, really? Huh. Oh, you just made Himiko angry, Meow. Someone like you wouldn't know this, but Himiko, but, but this is Himiko when she's mad, Meow. No, I was just blushing. Huh? What? From your own compliment? <laughs> you know, your expression doesn't, doesn't change much, but it's hard to tell. It's hard what to tell what you're pain. feeling. Changing expressions is a pain. Is that the only reason you didn't do it? So there is less grass now. That's handy. Maybe there's some. Well, I can't walk into it still, but it's nice just to be able to see. Maybe I can find some Monokuma things. All right, Ninja Scroll, come here. Ninja Scroll. Put it in his mouth. And it knocks all the trees down. And what is that? Welcome! Welcome! Wow. What is that? 
What the heck is that building? I'm not familiar with this type of building. Huh? What kind of technology makes a building suddenly appear? Wow! <laughs> it's not just any building, it's a dojo! So it doesn't matter how it appeared, meow. Right. Like, I wouldn't care if a chef a chef made a little that came by a car or a train as long as they made good food. Is that really the same? What? I don't even I don't really understand, but whatever, I'm going in. <laughs> Must be the ultimate research lab. Look for this building. Okay. It's the ultimate Aikido master lab. I'm sure of it, Meow. Well. Alright, let's go inside. Don't be shy, Himiko. Ladies first, Meow. What a pain. <laughs> pushing along, pushing Himiko along, Tinko stepped inside the building. That's true. I suppose it's check inside too. Right. Ooh, fancy. Look at that dude. Look at him. Hoo -choo 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 -choo. They're punching so fast. Oh, this, this is a huge dojo. The tatami mats are new. They smell nice. It's this giant wooden statue here. What is this? It's a large doll made of wood. It is a is it at all? It's supposed to watch over us, protect us? It's like a robot or something. Like it's a giant. What can I look at? There, what are these suspended scaffolds for? Scaffolds spin in the air with chains. It's uh, some kind of jump training, like kung fu movie. All right, Tinko, tell me all about it. Damn it! This, <laughs> see, this is my lab. You jerk, meow. Why? Why are you angry? <laughs> I'm just so happy I can't contain my emotions. Meow. Like an like an excited dog that just pees everywhere. Woof. Emotional roller coaster. The complete op the complete opposite of Amigo. That's amazing. Wow, this is such a nice dojo. I'm sure spar sparring here sparring will be incredible in here, meow. But without a sparring partner. Ho! Ha 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 ha! She got me. What was that for? Ow, ow, ow! Why are you throwing me? Listen up. Neo Aikido is super serious martial art. Instead of training, we just fight head on, meow. Now, Himiko, aim for the heart, meow. You're gonna start with that? <laughs> I'm just kidding, meow. Wait. This is just kidding. Uh, why did I go straight into actual fighting? What? You don't have you don't have a lot of confidence in yourself, do you, Shuichi? Huh? Of course he doesn't. That's why I hate him. Mm -hmm. You lack self-esteem, and because of that, you doubt your strength. But I mean. It's every character in every game. They always doubt themselves when they become strong characters by the end of the game. So I shouldn't be mad about it. I should just get. I, just, I should just accept it. I just wish you'd move along a little faster. You seem more confident than before, but I can tell you still question yourself, meow. Right. Well, am I right? I, well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell when my sparring partner is burdened by burdened by doubt, meow. Uh, okay. You might be right. Listen up. You know what works real good at lifting all that doubt? Neo Keto, meow. Because the Keto itself is a Japanese martial art that treasures a pure heart above all else, meow. So how about you, Miko? Meow. Right. If we combine your magic and my Neo Aikido, then we should be able to solve things by force, Meow. By force? I thought this was about being pure of heart. Uh -huh. I don't want to do any exercises. Too much of a... <laughs> yeah. Throw her too. That's right. Get her. Get her. Slam. Got her. Mm -hmm. see. It seems you're all still too shy to show your emotions, Miko. Meow. What a waste. You have the richest heart of all, Meow. That's right. You should do Neo Keto, Himiko. Training your body will help you express your emotions, Meow. Now come sweat with me, and afterwards we'll hit the showers together. Meow. Mm, my back. I feel like turning in, you into a gross frog with my magic right now. Oh, you're angry? I can see it in your heart, Meow. Uh, okay. I can even see that. I would like to leave. There's nothing else to see here. Maybe it'll be a murder mystery. Maybe it won't. What's that over there? Over where? Oh. oh god. Come on, what's the big deal? I can't hold back yeah. any longer. But how? No, it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. Oh, she wants to look at him. So good. I won't make things worse, and you'll probably feel a lot better. Just the tip is fine. <laughs> we can take this relationship to the next level, please. <laughs> but me, we shouldn't. Come with me. It'll be fine. Just come with me. We'll do it together. Oh my! Pulling on arm, Mio made way to the ultimate inventor's um, lab. Um, I just feel like I saw something I wasn't supposed to see. I should check on them and see what's going on, just in case. Yeah, maybe that's where the hammer goes. I mean, maybe I should start trying to become friends with her. And I wonder, I wonder if you get panties in this game like you did in the last games. I bet you don't get any from her because she doesn't wear any. <laughs> where, where's my free time at? Careful not to make a sound. I opened the door and peeked inside. I heard a strange sound. When I looked for the source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. Oh God. 
Whoa! You're really plugged up. You're practically throbbing. Jeez, poor guy. Throbbing with dust and debris, that is. Mm -mm. This is mm -mm. no good. No good at all. You must feel so pent up. I oh, my dear. I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Relax. <laughs> I'll get it all out. Trust me, you'll feel much better afterwards. How lewd. Oh, um, thank you? Oh yeah, your chassis is firm. Really firm. Like, damn. Your body is seriously incredible. I've never seen one like this. <laughs> Careful, be gentle. That tickles. This is amazing. Whoever put you together definitely knew what they were doing. These innuendos, as all the um, as all the the young viewers get pulled away by their parents. <laughs> I feel all tingly. You definitely know what you're doing too. If you keep this up, I just might. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> So that's the sound you make when I Jesus Christ. I closed the door without a word. <laughs> uh, we were just doing some maintenance on Kibo's body. That's all it was. Indeed, nothing but that. That's all it was, guys. Just, just some maintenance. Moving on. Everything's fine. Everything is okay. All right, where's the next one go? I don't know where this hammer goes. No. I guess I'm supposed to go talk to them. Uh-oh. Monokuma's here. Uh, hey. What are you doing here? Mon Monokuma started st stared at me with in silence, then disappeared down the hallway. Uh, um, I suppose he wants me to follow him, but what could be down there? All right, let's follow him then. Which way to go? This way? That's where I'm supposed to use the hammer to knock this down? Monokuma's glancing back and forth at me and the picture on the wall. Uh, um... This picture? Huh? I can see, it's not a it's not a canvas, it's a pane of glass. Perhaps. Maybe I should use that item All I haven't right. used yet. It's worth a try. I held the hammer in my hand and faced the glass in front of me, and I threw it as hard as I could. I threw it three times. Yeah, where's the ultimate detective place at? I'm probably not actually the ultimate detective, and that's why I'm so bad at being a detective. Just as I thought, the hidden passage, there's a hidden passageway here. I don't know what he's up to, but he really, he did really help us out. Passes look different than a haunted house, more like a factory. It's, it's eerie in a different way. Yeah, maybe this is where the Manu Kid cubs were made or something. The computer room? Is that what that says? Wow, that's like this fancy. The Xbox? Is that a giant Xbox? <laughs> it's a giant machine. I've never seen this before. What could this? Flashbacks. I need flashbacks where I have a thing on my head where I got my brain erased. You bastards. If you've come this far, it means you solved the painting puzzle. Wonderful. Excellent teamwork. Yeah. Oh, what's teamwork? It's just Shuichi. Because. That puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. Let's just play along. We've put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true what they say. The serious ones are the scariest when they finally snap. I'm certain it's not possible, but did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? So? Oh, yes, that explained this room. So this is the computer room. Computer room? Ah. This computer isn't just some ordinary computer. The computer you're looking at is like super amazing. If you remember correctly, th it's so amazing you can even use it to create a new world. That's the. Uh, this is a flashback to the second game. A new world. Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Wait, we're supposed to tell him that? I've already forgotten the plan. Aww. You totally said way too much. Sorry. Oh, I knew it. Aww. You're so forgetful, Montaro. You gotta try to remember what you can. So you can. What you can and can't Aww. say. Sorry. Why did you help him, Monofane? Huh? When you realized he was saying too much, you couldn't- you could have helped him, right? Why didn't you? Your friend's right, so why didn't you help him? If you can't get along, you'll be punished! 
You too, Montero. Friends share everything, even punishment. <laughs> what backfire? So long. Farewell. <laughs> that Xbox, though. This machine can make a new world? What are they talking about? I'm not good with computers. I don't think I'd understand it, no matter how much I investigate. <laughs> the only thing in here I can see is the giant Xbox. The giant, the giant green computer in the middle of the room. A machine that can make a new world. What could that mean? With how little I know about computers, I don't think I stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave it for now. Oh, there's a treasure chest back there. Hey! I didn't even see the treasure chest. My video, my, my, my RPG skills are, are rusty. I opened the chest eagerly and a flashback light. This is gonna find it. Yeah, 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 we found it. Hooray. And you're here. Oh, you found the flashback light. Wow, you're pretty dependable despite that lame face of yours. I respect that. Okay. All right. I'll get the others. You just bring that to the dining hall, Shuichi. Okay. Well, off I go. See ya. He, ch he chatted away and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He left waving goodbye. Let's go to the dining hall then, I guess, and have a flashback and see more of our background and get another motive, probably. Now, there's one nice thing about the game is it won't let you leave a room if you haven't investigated something important. That's nice. I, I appreciate that kind of handholding because it's kind of hard to tell what you're supposed really? to do at all times. Shuichi, is it true that you found another flashback? I sure did. Yeah, that's right. Okay. It's true. I see. Wait, so Kukichi wasn't lying? I'm stunned, startled, shocked me now. See, I told you I wasn't lying. Good thing too, because I don't want my pants on fire. Actually, I want to start talking about what we're going to do, but Kato isn't here yet. Ah. Maki is not here either. Ah. Oh, Maki's not coming. I didn't invite her. Huh? You didn't invite her? Hey. Forget about that, killer. Hey, Miyu, Keyboy, did you guys see the computer room on the fourth floor? Huh? Computer room, you say? Go on. Hey. There's a big computer on the fourth floor. Would you take a look later? You or Kibo might know something about it, right? Apologies. I'm sorry, I'm not very computer savvy. What? Oh, is that so? That's unexpected. <laughs> I've, been, I've been meaning to ask, but Kibo, what is your talent exactly? Well, well I can do sorts, all sorts of things. Indeed. Oh yes, I'm pretty good at one-man comedy shows, if I do say so myself. Don't worry. <laughs> Keyboy's existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he's got no talent. Do not mock me. I just, I just told you I'm, I'm that good at one-man comedy shows. Hmm. I don't, I don't really get it, but we just need to check out this computer room, right? <laughs> but I'm not gonna come just for some computer. It's gonna take way more than that. Uh, um, oh, Monica Cubs did say it was amazing. No. Thanks for waiting. Hey! Uh. Hey! He's sweeped her off her feet. Yeah, look at her. Huh? Maki, why is Maki with you of now? Of course. Well, this is about the flashback light, so everyone should be here, yeah? <laughs> but when you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional killer? <sighs> I'm leaving. Come on, man. Hey, hold on a sec. Kato gripped Maki's arm before she could By leave. Kato, didn't you say you wanted to take down her mask or whatever? Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. Huh? Hey, so I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Um, um, is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Maki? Have you killed anyone before? Okay. Yes. Really? What? Why you hide that? It's obvious. It's so she could kill us all before we figure out her identity. That's wrong. If she wanted to kill us all before we figure out her identity, she could have done so already. It's she kept us out so we couldn't kill each other. You're wrong. It's because I knew you guys would react this way. Huh? What? Because when people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually, that fear will turn into hate, and then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them first. That's. What's the point? Whenever someone learns my real identity, they need to try to kill me. It happens every time, always. Huh? Always? Mm. Mm, you've lived a pretty sad life, Maki. That's so mean. Oh, poor, poor Maki. I feel so sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, I see. Because of everything you've been through, human life is no value to you now. Is that it? Jeez. She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Even if she did kill someone, it doesn't mean that she thinks it's okay to... Uh -huh. Hey, can you... <laughs> Can you let go of me now? Hmm? Oh, Kato finally let go of her arm and Maki let us sigh. It's okay. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret, and I tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. Oh, but someone who doesn't know how to mind his business kept dragging me places. Huh? huh you talking about me? Well... However, I'll say this. 
I have no intention of killing any of you unless one of you tries to kill me first. <sighs> Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then? So you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll agree to avoid each other. Please just pretend I'm not even here. Hmm. It started out as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. You're so dumb. Jeez, Kaido, what were you thinking? Are you trying to turn us against each other? I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all disappointed in you, right, guys? No. I wouldn't say that, but. Tell me your thoughts. Shall we finally get started? We've gathered here for the flashback light, yes? Everyone! Uh, yes, so we have to decide that we're, what we're gonna do. Sneak attack! Yes, of course. We might, we might be able to remember something new, meow. Which is not exactly a good thing. Like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt. No. Well, I don't know for sure it's got anything to do with why we're trapped here. What was that? Don't give me that wishy-washy bullcrap. Of course it's got something to do with it. Hey, instead of arguing, it'd be way faster to just use it, you know? Right. Yeah, don't to worry, but we gotta do it. But, but. Thank you, Kokichi. But, 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 no matter what we remember, you can't think about wanting to leave this place. Come on, come when on. you think like that, uh -oh. we're just gonna be repeating ourselves. Me. I know that, and we can't go around repeating ourselves, meow. We must do it. Then let's give it a try. Shuichi, go for it. Uh -huh. I'm a little nervous. Um, some sort of just plain nauseous. Everyone turned their eyes to me and I flicked on the flashback light. At that moment, once again, we got ourselves a good old flashback. That butt, though, so thick. See, my consciousness went white, and somewhere in that whiteness, a scene played. They were so young and talented. Oh. How could this happen? See, this is what I was talking about earlier. It's like, why is only one person dead? And I got, like, super, super suspicious. But now, we're all here. Mm. It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. Hmm. Huh, so maybe we're all dead? Mushindaru. Nani? A funeral? It was mine. It was everyone's here. Huh? Why was I at my own funeral? What? What funeral? You too, Shuichi? It would appear we all remember the same the thing. What's going on? But what the f does that mean? Why what was I watching your 16, guys' 16, funeral? 16. And why was I there too? It's like everyone's here. Everyone's got the same stuff. Hmm. Why? Hmm. Well, the only thing I remember is seeing that funeral, nothing else. No way. Maybe we already dead? <laughs> no way. Jeez, this is so stupid I couldn't help but laugh. It means there's no way that, that was our memory of our funeral. There's no way that was our memory of our funeral. But maybe we got captured and they just presumed us dead. And then what was it? I mean, probably a memory of our school festival or something. What? School festival? That's right. Yeah, it's probably a memory of a play we did, the school festival or something. I mean, isn't obvious you just, if you just think about it. Of course. If that funeral was real, there'd be no way we'd still be alive. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, but aren't we all from different high schools? Why would we have a high school festival together, man? Well, that's. We'll probably remember something else about it later. Got it. Anyway, there's no way that funeral was real. There's no mistake in that. Logical. You're right. If we think about it logically, it's clear. That's clearly out of the question. Thank goodness. Gone to think everyone was already dead. Don't worry about it. Stop saying stupid stuff. Look at me. I'm alive, hale and hearty. <laughs> hearty? <laughs> Cause you get a hard on every time you see me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I heard males can tell they're healthy by how hard they get in the morning. Is that true, meow? What? Hey, <laughs> stay in your stay in your lane. Oh. I'm not good with other people's dirty jokes. Oh man, what a disappointment. Huh? It's true, this flashback light was a little real let down. We didn't find out anything about the ultimate hunt, just some weird memory. Okay. Yeah, seriously, talk about a disappointment. Uh -uh. No, I'm not talking about the memory, I'm talking about you guys. Huh? It's a lie. Oh no, it's nothing. I'm just lying again, so don't worry about it. I wish you have said anything in the first place. I wish you would just say what he's thinking because he moves the story along faster than anybody. Uh, but more importantly, the f memory of the funeral we saw, it can't be a memory of a real funeral. We have to learn more about this. 
No matter how hard I think about it, I can't wrap my head around it. Or are we all memories? After that experience, we ate a meal in the dining hall and returned to our rooms. The part that bothers me about that is that it's like, it's important. Like it wouldn't be in a flashback light if it wasn't important, but everyone's like, eh, oh yeah, whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's just ignore it. That's probably what he's so mad about. And that's what I'm mad about as well is because everyone's just like, Everyone just choose to ignore everything in this game. I feel like there's some kind of secret about that funeral. I can't stop thinking about it. Well, thank you, Shuichi. I appreciate you actually considering it. But it's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. If I could ask Monokuma for a hint, maybe that would help, but... I shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable problem. I still have some time left today. Maybe I'll head out and clear my head. Yeah, free time! Let's go find some waifus! My waifu number two is dead, so I have to find a third waifu now. Maybe I should be Assassin Girl. Maybe Assassin Girl should be my other waifu. Or maybe Mew. Maybe I should make Mew my waifu, just have a dirty waifu. So lewd. So lewd. <laughs> Alright, first off, waifu number one. We gotta go see here. I also need to buy some more items, too, so I should go to the store. I wonder when my ultimate detective place is gonna open up. I wonder if there's gonna be like a bunch of clues about everything in there. And we're gonna have our minds blown off. Like our, like our, our tits straight blown. Where you at, girl? There you are. Hey, how you doing, waifu number one? That reminds me. Now that I think about it, I wonder if Monokuma's still bald. Not that I'm worried about him, it's just plain disgust. He's just plain disgusting like that. Should I hang out with her for a while? I sure should. Oh. Well, Monokuma doesn't matter. Let's drink some tea together. Yeah, girl. You drink some tea with Smoogie. Would you like to give her a gift? Of course, of course. Oh, no, 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 no! 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 No, no, no! 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 Absolutely not. Absolutely not. A absolutely not. Nope. 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 Free time! Alright, we're back to free time again. So this guy didn't save it for a mess up. Again. Gotta go see my waifu. Mess the waifu up. God dang, I didn't give her a gift? How inconsiderate of me. Right, I'm back, waifu, after having to reload my game because I didn't give you a gift. How could I not give you a gift? My cosplay queen. But she's gonna dress up and blow her by away. I wanna give her a gift. Yes, I definitely do wanna give her a gift. What I want to give her though, that's the real question. I don't have any more of those. I have another sewing kit though. Here you go, have a sewing kit. This is like the third one that I've given you. You're welcome. What? Yeah, you can have this. All right. Um, Why did you first start to make cosplay? What? what? Why are you, where were you to jump to? Uh, um, hey, if you'd rather not say, you don't have to. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to say, it's just a little embarrassing. She blushes and brought her fist to her chin thinking. Uh, where to start? From a young age, I love clothes that were cool and cute. And it was full of clothes like that, so every weekend I'd be glued to the TV. Um, One day I eventually learned of a thing called cosplay. As soon as I did, I went out and secretly made my favorite character's outfits. Uh, it's amazing, you made it from scratch? No. no, it was too hard to make from scratch, so I modified an existing outfit. But even though I made it, I didn't have enough courage to wear it to a con. Uh, but even so, I wanted someone to see it. Do you understand that feeling? Okay. I think I do, you worked really hard. Right, right? Humans are just lumps of desires that need acknowledgement. And so I dared to put it up on the internet. What should we do? Thinking back on it now, showing an outfit like that is so embarrassing. She's squirming. I understand how she but feels. That fandom was full of nice people, so they didn't make fun of me. Actually, a certain cosplayer said it was good for my first time. That compliment was enough for me, um, but then they said they wanted they wanted to wear it, and that we should go to con they said they wanted to wear it. And we should go to cons together. To my surprise, they were a really famous. They were a really famous com cosplayer that that, that, that yeah. fandom. I keep hitting that freaking the thumbstick. Where'd you go? Yeah, of course, it was, it was fun. I didn't even imagine. I couldn't believe it. She's sparkling. It must have been a lot of fun. Looking back, that cosplayer just wanted to drag others into the cosplay swamp. And I was dragged in quite easily, but still, I'm thankful. Mm. And that was the start of your ultimate talent, right? You're right. Yeah, if I hadn't been invited to that con, I wouldn't be the person I am now. I'm still friends with that cosplayer. I want to make more outfits for them. Uh. Oh, what kind of tone have I been setting? I'm so embarrassed. I made you listen to that boring story. I'd love to hear more about it. No. Uh, oh. Hmm. What, did I say something wrong? What is this? I've never had that line outside of girls' manga or dating sims. <laughs> Her eyes are getting sparkly again. Her fan fiction has come to life. Plain to see. If you were a dating sim, you wouldn't be the most popular, but you'd have fans. Is that a compliment? I have no idea. 
Yeah, one more and I'm gonna get them panties, girl. You better not kill anybody before then, because I need underwear. <laughs> she told me a few more cosplay stories in her return to my room. I hope I have more, like another gift I can actually give her. It'd be, that'd be a problem if I was like, hey, let's go on another date, but I don't have anything to give you. And it's nighttime. Oh, look, he's beating them up. They're all beat up. Oh, her, her, her bra is about to fall off. <gasps> Gasp. It is now 10 p.m. It's bed by time for us. <laughs> you two should sleep together in one big bed. Ah. Well, the three of us could sleep in one big bed, right? As close as we are, not only could we sleep in one big bed, we could sleep in triple bunk beds. Yeah. Oh, but whoever's in the top book might fall out of bed and die. I don't know if we're that close. Nighttime. I have training with Kato. I haven't done it in a while because of the murder, but we're going to do it tonight, right? We're going to do it tonight, guys. In that case, we need to go to the courtyard. Is there going to be a murder? What do, what do you say, Angie? You're standing out here. Oh, me? Oh, oh Shuichi, where, are you, where yeah. are you going? No in particular. What, are you, what about you, Angie? I... Oh, I was just talking to the others. Uh, talking? Maybe. Since they can't hear Atua's voice, let's explain her wisdom uh, to them. Um, let's see. Atua has touched everyone's feelings, so he said we must all preserve in the peace here. I'm so relieved. I'll work with everyone to make an academy of paradise. Uh, she'll work with everyone. I wonder what that what she means by that. See you tomorrow. I have a bad feeling about this. Miko's magic shows Nanji's idea as well. What, are, what is she planning this time? Is she the mastermind? Is she putting it up? Is she putting everyone up? Can I go into her room, by the way? It's locked. I'm gonna open it. I suppose it's locked. Can't go in her room, but can't go into your room. Maybe these final moments, I can't imagine her running on my head. Perhaps running is so bad. But is her room unlocked? I just went over her room's locked or not. Is his room locked? No, I'm trying to go in the rooms. Ah, oh, it's not gonna let me see. It's very suspicious, isn't it? Mm -hmm, it sure is. It sure is suspicious. Hmm. Looks like Kato wasn't here yet. And suddenly, yo, hey, sorry it's late. I had trouble bringing her. Huh? Her. <laughs> He's just dragging her around everywhere. He's he is set on on hanging. He he is set. That is his waifu. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna steal your waifu, bro. I'm gonna steal your waifu from you. Huh? Maki, why is Maki here? Yeah, know. That's what I'd like to know. Someone kept buzzing my intercom, and I got fed up, and I finally opened the door. And this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way here. Idiot. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. We're gonna train. It's more fun with three people than two, right? What? Training three of us? Is that really the reason you dragged me here? This is stupid. I'm going back. Huh. Hey, you gone stupid. Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, train, then train some more. That's why this that's what this training is. It's important for a hero like me. Right. So you guys can be super like super dog cat or horse on my side and help me be a hero. Uh, um, all the examples you could have picked. I'm right already. Do you really think this crazy explanation would convince me to stay? This is stupid. I'm going back. Hold up. When I said I was the hero, that's just from my perspective. But you know. Even super pets think of themselves as heroes. Let's do it. The same goes for both of you. Each of you are the heroes of your own stories. So act more like it. Hey. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly, so if you don't, so if you don't, so why are you being so difficult? Hey, so How long are you gonna run away? Kato brought his, brought his face close to Maki's. Ooh. Hmm. Your mask is coming down. I could tell just by looking at you today. So you guys mind your own business on my mind. We will avoid each other and pretend there's nothing, pretend I'm not even here. I mean... You're not the terrifying person others think you are. You're just a coward. Hey, so... Hey, what's your enemy? What? My enemy? Jeez. You don't need to tell me what it is as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. How long are you gonna go running away from your enemy? Huh? Seriously? Yeah, you've been running away. It's pretty pathetic. That's right. But... If you want to stand against even a little, I'll train with you so you can be strong. Mako's getting angry. Kato's just provoking her. Is he going to be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. Hey. So what are you going to do? Kaito. It's, it's okay. You don't have to. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll do it. Huh? Oh, yeah. The NPC romance. I just get to watch. But it's all supposed to be about me. Isn't this supposed to be a harem about my main character? Just kidding. Shuichi isn't impressive to anyone. No one wants him. Except for Kaede, for whatever reason. 
my gosh, she's a bad guy. I just know it. She's gonna come back. Then... Don't get the wrong idea. He'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. Huh. Yeah, so you do get it. <sighs> the only way to deal with idiots like him is to give up and just keep nodding. What? Hey, he don't get it at all. Huh. Whatever. You just better get ready. I won't hold back because you're a girl. Hey. Well, what are we doing first? All right, all right first 100 push-ups. Uh, that's, that's a, that's a big step up from 50. Somehow Maki ended up joining us, the three of us trained together. She'd probably outdo us all. She's probably doing handstand push-ups. Uh, 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 I whimper when I do push-ups. Not bad. Shuichi, uh, you're getting better. Uh, yeah. Uh, just close your eyes and listen to it. Hey, Kaito. No slacking today, yeah? I'm counting your reps. <laughs> I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push-ups. I thought we were doing 100. Hey, what about you, Maki? 100 might be too hard for you, so... 91, 92, 93, <laughs> 94... That's what I figured. I mean, if she's the ultimate assassin, she's probably, like, in the best shape of anyone here. What? That's other awesome. than Gonta. Satisfied? 100, I'm done. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands, totally composed. No. You're done already? What? You're not even out of breath? I guess you trained before, huh? Are you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we really, we, like we really pushed ourselves. Oh, that's... Before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did 500 push-ups, so... <laughs> that's the best I can come up with. Yes. Anyway, I'm done. You can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my room. Got it. Okay, we're, we're doing training tomorrow, too. You better be there. Make her ignore Kato and left without a word. She gotta be so difficult. Um, hey, Kato, why did you do all this to help her? Mm -hmm. If someone's weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. Huh. If someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you can just leave them. Uh, um, weak and suffering, hockey? That's right. Well, in that, in that sense, you're. Ah. No, in your case, it's a little different. Huh? What do you mean? Shut up! Nothing. Anyway, let's keep going. You're still in the middle of your push ups, right? <laughs> so are you. Huh? Were you listening? Already did 500 push ups before I got here. No. Nice try. Kato ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. We agreed to just start over, and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. Jeez, so we did like 150? That's a pretty good bit of push-ups. That's a whole lot for just these little skinny anime dudes. I'm so tired. I get back, especially if he had trouble doing 50 last time. It's like, let me just triple that. And and after three days, when I got back to my room, I huffed with a deep sigh and fell backwards in my bed. Hmm. Kato bringing Monk, didn't bring Maki. He's really crazy. Maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Kato, you really are something else. My eyelids closed and I continued talking to myself and I eventually, and eventually I drifted to sleep. Mono Dam Theater. Oh, he's taking over now. He <laughs> it's the Matrix. He's dodging bullets. Curious. Curious what, what we Mono Cubs do when we're not around. I'll tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at funny sounding words. When we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. We also wear pajamas all day and lounge in the air conditioning room. And then we go all out together. That usually, and they usually, they usually make me steal. See, we're all such good friends. We're always together. Except when they run away, when I get caught stealing. The mono major. No, I was trying, I was trying to put the words together. The my electrix. It is now 8 a.m. This is an official announcement. Please assemble in the Let's gym. You refuse to get along as grounds for punishment. <laughs> oh my damn, you really obsessed with the whole getting That's along right. thing. Fans only show you watches I, blah, blah, blah. That. I do not get if I don't get along, I won't forgive you. I will use exosauce to peel your faces off like mandarin oranges. So gory. So gory, please get along, give <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's sparkly. Ah! <laughs> she puked again. Oh, it's blue this time. How rare. They say anyone who sees Monofane's blue puke, puke will have good luck. So long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we saw the, the blue puke. We must be lucky today. Assemble the gym. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. Hey, bro. Good morning. Did you hear about the announcement? Oh. Yeah, we gotta meet at the gym, right? It's early in the morning. I guess you have no choice. Huh? Go ahead. You're not going? So... No, I'm going. I just gotta take care of something first, then I'll meet you there. Kato pointed the door in Monkey's room. I suppose he's going to take her. Hey, so Said everybody's got to be there, right? Who knows what will happen if some of us don't show up. You're right. Last night's training session was Kato concerned about Maki. Be nice if you could help everyone get along. Or help her get along with everybody or whatever he said. I don't know. I didn't read it. 
Then, good morning, Keo. You going to the gym? Yes. Oh, yes. I was about to head there just now. Overslept a bit today, you see. <laughs> of course, the one time I picked to do that, we were summoned, so I panicked a bit. I am normally ready to leave my room by 7.30 a.m. Uh, um, that early. I usually wake up with a monocup's announcement. Bye. I usually wake up at 6 a.m. since it takes me so long to get ready each morning. I'm pretty sure that this is not a dude. I think it's a girl. And he or she has to prepare. Why does it take so long? That's even longer than what girl than what a girl takes. Well, Kyo does have pretty elaborate uniform, perhaps that's why. So then. In any case, we've got no time for idle chats. I shall go ahead to the gym. Waifu, how are you doing today? Oh, it's oh. spooky. Yeah. Now, oh, good morning. Are you about to head to the gym too? Okay. Yeah, I certainly don't want to be ignore someone like that. Yes. Right, if we don't show up, you might think we're not getting along or something. Well, for all I thought Monodan was the most reasonable one out of them, but he's pathologically fixated on getting along. He's even killed the other Monocubs over it. It seems he was actually the most dangerous one. One wrong step and he's full on yandere. What's she talking about? What about you? What do you say, young lady? Um. Miko, good morning. Does that mean, did that mean good morning? What a pain. Why do we have to go to the gym so early in the morning? Mm. I don't know, but I think it's going to be good. We have an important student council meeting today. That this is gonna use up all my energy. Poor meeting. It's fine. They got a. They got a. There. There's like meetings they have now. Oh my god. Are they suspecting me of being some bad guy? Oh my god. They better not. Now, now, it's okay. You won't get used to if you know, just walk to the gym. Hey. Yeah, about the meeting. Are you planning something? Yeah. Oh yeah, sorta. Of. Angie said we should have a party. We're planning to play in the pool with everyone after this. Hmm. Huh. Natua said. He wanted to play in the pool. What a particular request for a That's god right. to make. Oh, no, it's not time to be standing here talking. We better hurry to the gym. Mm. I don't like Mandarin Orange just peeling off the white stuff's a pain. Pool, so all the girls will be. Ha! Huh, Monokuma! What? Uh. What do you want, man? Hey! Would he want something from me? Yeah, he wants to, to beat the Monocubs for him, is what he wants. Monokuma stared at me silently, intensely, as if he were trying to tell me something. Hey! Well, what is it? You have something to say? Say it! Suddenly, a thought flashed in my mind. A man's fantasy. <laughs> is Monokuma, he's trying, to, he's trying to make some perverted jokes about going to see all the, all the gals. <laughs> Mine, from my heart. Yes, from my heart, for I have love on my side. Hey! I understand now, Monokuma, you're telling me. That it's time. The girls are going to play in the pool, which means they'll be in swimsuits. That must mean a zany yet romantic scene will play out and I'll be there. <laughs> that was completely out of character, but should I? Is it really okay to be doing something like that? Tinker would kill me. Is it really okay to be doing that? Heck yeah, it is. Yes, I can't back down now. The power of love in my chest is filled with throbbing heart, full charge. I have no choice. I must go. Yes. I wonder if that's a special item that I have that's making that happen because usually the special item triggered events uh, don't really fit the character very well for whatever reason. Good morning, Kibo. Shuichi doesn't. This summons give you an easy feeling. Right. Oh yeah, I suppose it does. Based on prior events, perhaps another motive is going to be announced. The timing is similar to when we received the monocup pads. Okay. Yeah, I think that may be the case. Indeed. But that's all right. No matter what kind of motive is prepared for us, we can oppose it together. Huh? I have decided. Don't worry. We won't allow the killing game to continue. Are you the new ultimate hope, Kibo? With that huge freaking strand on his head? I mean, if this if this game is placed away in the future, then I think he's like like a, a, a robot modified old character. But that's a huge stretch at the same time. But still, it could happen. Crazier things have happened. I went the wrong way. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? The same way when we went to the library after Rontaro class trial. All clean. Oh, yeah, because... Like nothing ever happened. Uh, Man, I'm tired as heck. I was up all night fixing that computer. Uh, oh, you looked at the computer on the fourth floor. What do you think? Uh, uh, yeah, I only just started working on it. I don't know the full specs, but uh, I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's so intense it won't let me sleep. <laughs> Are you jealous? Please stop. Uh, of, of course not. I would never be jealous of a computer. Uh, he's he's totally jealous. A robot jealous of a computer? It just seems, it just seems plain possible. Oh. Are you hey guys, I'm a sleepwalker or something. What's she doing here? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I'm hallucinating after what Maki said before. There's no way she'd be here. Come on, man. 
Don't say something so stupid. You'll never get to know her better if you never talk to her. What? Maybe everyone would prefer that. Maybe everyone would prefer that this dangerous killer stay away far from away from us. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't prefer that at all. That's enough! You better cut it out. No, no. He's right. Murder and death have no place in a peaceful ac academy life. Yeah. yeah, it's just like Angie said. Yeah. yeah, it's just like Angie said. Huh? She's she's freaking she's converting people. I'm freaking. She's like the evil cult leader. I'm telling you, we gotta get rid of her. Every everyone is serious. How? No, no. The colossal insect is on the other side of the wall, isn't no. it? No, not that. Ganta went to courtyard before coming here and. Come on, what is it? Why'd you call us out all of a sudden? Eh? We're the ones who called them out. Did you forget that too? Let's worry about Montaru later, the present, and present the motive now. I knew it. So it is a motive after all. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the motive is, we will not do a killing game again. That's right. That's right. We aren't afraid of anything anymore, Mel. Indeed. Because we have a Tua. Oh my god. What? Actually. It's no ordinary motive. This motive will inspire fear like never before. Fear like never before. In your face, fear like never before. You'll have no choice but to unite. Now from the motive that will cast you down to the depths of terror. It's gonna be something stupid. Ooh, oh, yeah, that face though. <laughs> look, at, look at his face. So evil. This time. The motive is a transfer student. A new student, yay. Yes, a new student is transferring. And not just any transfer student. You get to resurrect one of the four people who've died so far. And welcome them back to the academy as a transfer student. Well? What? Hmm. They brought someone back in the second game and he was a huge robot. A transfer Are student? You serious? We can resurrect someone? So. The instructions for the resurrection are written in the Necronomicon. By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. That's right. But only one of the four who died so far can become the transfer student. Whoever you choose, that person will be considered part of the killing game semester. Ah. So technically, you can kill them again as soon as they're resurrected. You know, if you wanted to use it like that. <laughs> this motive is supposed to bring them closer together. Sorry. Sorry, old habits and such. What a damn, let's forgive Montaro. Forgiving is what friends do, you know. That's wonderful. Monofane, you're nice, but there is more to friendship than being nice. Friends also punish each other for when they do something wrong. That is why I'll have to punish Montaro. Uh, me? Please, no, not Monofane. Wait, did I read that wrong? I'm always mocking her and she's not looking. I don't want to be punished by her. Fine, I'll do it. Oh, she's going to punish him. So long. Farewell. We're all completely dumbfounded. I feel like this academy has prepared for absurd situations. prepared me for absurd situations, but what I just heard was the most absurd thing so far. Incomprehensible. It's a transfer student resurrecting the dead. Don't screw around. Don't say such stupid thing. There's no way a resur a resurrecting the dead is possible. It just can't happen. Who the heck would believe such a load of unscientific bullcrap? Listen. Disbelief due to the lack of scientific merit is simply the hubris of a scientific society. His ritual, or rather, resurrection ceremony, stems from the funeral ceremonies the world over. See, they're similar, yes. The act of sending the dead body to the next world is a sort of ritual. Though rumors and legends, that ritual twists into a way of returning the dead to this world. A ritual. Unless we're in, like, a computer simulation right now, there's no way we can bring people back to life. Since you keep rambling about it, I guess you really believe all that stuff, huh, Kyo? <laughs> what he's saying, there's no way the dead can be resurrected. Huh? Do you understand? Without a doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored, such as broken glass cannot be mended. Mm. So you believe in souls, but you don't believe the souls can be resurrected? Uh. That seems confusing, but I know if I were to ask this conversation, which is going forever. Okay. If not, even Keo believes it, then there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. Right. If it's this idolistic degenerate can't believe it, no reason little girl will believe it either, Meow. You think? You think so? I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life. <laughs> <laughs> the kooky biscuit's finally talking, but too bad no one's interested in your bullcrap. No. No, wait, let's hear what Angie has to say. What? Yes, Angie's free to speak now. Yay! I can say it? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say it. Cause that's what a Tua desires. 
I can't follow this conversation at all. Oh, man. Let's hear what Angie has to say. All right. What do you have to say, Angie? Uh, um, so you believe you can revive the dead, Angie? Uh, I don't think the resurrection wish can bring a dead back to life, but it's probably more like returning the dead to what us. What are you talking about? Because. You know, the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up. So clean, it's like you never dead body to begin with, so maybe they were never dead to begin with. They weren't dead? No. No, that's not possible. We inspected all the bodies ourselves. But, but... but it might have been a very accurate imi imi no. imitation. I see. Well, the Kuma and the XSLs are evidence about this ridiculous scientific advancements. It may be possible for them to create extremely convincing imitations. Yeah. If that's what Angie if that's what Angie says, I'm starting to plainly agree. Mm. I have always supported Angie. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Wait. Oh, thank you, everyone. Hey, wait a minute. I saw them with my own eyes. I don't raise your voice to Angie, you rude degenerate meow. Why? Why do you not want them to be alive, Shuichi? You don't want the dead to be alive? That's true, but... I, I do. I do want that. I just wish they were still alive. Even now, I think that. But I don't know how much I want that. What? Oh, wait. If everyone's alive, it means they'll be somewhere in the school, right? So maybe one of them write message in courtyard. The message in the courtyard? I would like to just go look at it. But Gonta, tell me about it. Uh, um... Alright, where's well, in the courtyard? Yeah, sort of different now. On the way here, gone to go see writing in courtyard. Hey! So it's not a horse anymore, and I have more writing this time. Huh? More writing. Um, gone to no understand the writing meme, but maybe, right. maybe a message from dead. Maybe everyone leaves message and they say, hey, we alive. Huh? Message from everyone who died? Because... Mm. Because no one write it, they say someone else must write it, right? Rest in peace. Are you saying the dead person hiding in the school wrote the message? In other words, a message from the dead? Oh. Uh, a message from the dead? What the actual flip? How the divine. fudge. Either way, there's nothing more divine than being united with a friend. Yeah, but if they have to go back into the killing game, it's not going to make anything better. At all. She spoke, Angie picked the Necronomicon off the floor. Sorry. Angie, what are you planning to do with that? Are you actually planning to perform the ritual? You know it's a motive, yes? No. But perhaps it's a motive that's dangerous, just dangerous to ignore rather than dangerous to use. Listen closely. For example, maybe the people who've died are actually alive, and if we don't perform the ritual, maybe they will be killed for s certain this time. Uh oh it would, uh, it would be a problem if we allowed four potential survivors to die. Thank you. You're so smart for telling us, Gonta. You're the savior of those four people. Huh? She approached Gonta with her usually wide smile and he mm -hmm. made him even though, even if Gonta was on his knees, he would be taller than she is. Man, she's a, she's freaking she's freaking culting everybody up. She's she's, she's ah. You work so hard, Gonta. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. Even when you go berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? I know this. Because Atua is always watching you. Always watching Gonta? Don't worry. You're not alone, Gonta. Atua is like a gentle grandmother, watching over you and keeping you safe. Grandmas are nice. Man. Huh? And she's a grandmother? I thought you said Atua was a handsome man. No. And he's Atua changes his appearance depending on who's looking. Whoa. Well, that's not suspiciously convenient at all. Oh. oh, yeah. Why don't you join our student council, Gonta? Right. Yeah, it'd be really reassuring if you were part of the student council, Gonta. Mm. Mm, you could use your power for peace of the academy. <laughs> See how much everyone needs you, Gonta. You should definitely join. Okay, so the student council is Cult of Atua. Really? You need Gonta? Got it. Gonta, join student council too. Wait. Before all that, what exactly is the student council? You've been acting- is that why you've been acting so weird? Last night, Angie summoned us to discuss how we should eradicate the killing game. Right. Me, Kibo, Tenko, and Smoogie. Yeah. We arrived at this conclusion, Meow. This is the Ultimate Academy Student Council, with Angie Yonaga as our president. Yup. Brainwashed. Ultimate Academy Student Council? We've all banded together under the leadership of President Angie. Our platform is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. Yeah. 
Our student council promises a killing game free ultimate academy. Sure. Huh? That'll work. A student council, man, she's the president. Yes. yes, there can be no harmony between us if we keep saying different things. Hmm. Oh, shut up. Hi. What? Yep, yep. Well, let's call, let's call the student council, but all decisions made done by Tua, who only you can talk to, apparently. <laughs> it sounds just like a cult. But since Angie can speak with Atua, she's the only one worthy of leading the council. That's right. Yeah, and that's right. Yeah, yeah I'm going to follow Angie too. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Atua is happy too. Oh, man. Oh, jeez, you've been totally brainwashed. <laughs> Angie is spreading your influence before you've even realized. However, it makes sense if you think about it. This has all the conditions for a cult to form. The fear of death, it cannot be avoided. Cults are born from a desire to escape that. I see. So she's using the situation to take over this school and make it depend us depend on it to uh Please wait. Using as Rue describe it. The president wants peace for this school. We agree with our noble wisdom. Right. Yeah, go to not let anyone talk bad about student council. Why you? You literally just freaking joined them, you brainwashed idiot. But, but I'm surprised Tinko decided to join the student council. Uh, that's correct. Because you and Angie are fighting over Himiko, weren't you? Who, who cares about that? I finally realized how great a Tua is, Meow. So? That's right, that's right. Now we're talking about, now what were we talking about again? Yep, yep. Oh, the resurrection ritual, right? Just leave this to the student council. It's less burdensome if Atua makes a decision. Wait. Less burdensome? Mm. That's a relief. If Atua's decision is definitely the right yeah. one. Yeah, there's no way Atua would be wrong. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, Atua's always right. Wait a Are you guys serious? The resurrection ritual is clearly a trap. <laughs> It'll be fine as long as everyone puts aside their desire to leave. I doubt they'd listen to anything we have to say. It's true, they're probably not going to listen, but you could at least help too, Kaido. What's wrong with him? He's been quiet this whole time. He wants to bring someone back real bad. The end, the council wouldn't stop. We couldn't stop the student council. We left and went our separate ways. I want to see the swimming pool. Bruh, where's the swimming happening at? Bruh. Bruh. It is time. Let us go in search of a man's fantasy. Yes. Yes. Let's find the fantasy. I headed to the pool. My heart's safety. My heart's my heart's safety was off and I was going in guns blazing. What an incredible sight to behold. My fantasy shining like a supernova. Oh, yeah. They're so big, Tsumugi. <laughs> If I touch them? Yes, what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man's fantasy. Saving it right there. Heck yeah. Making a new save for this. Making a new save. Uh-huh. So I can come back and enjoy this later. <laughs> what? Is that weird? That's where we're going to stop tonight's episode. Because I got to go in and help Mary with some stuff. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoy this fan service right here. And we'll be back later. Thank you guys very much. See you next time. Until then, stay toasty, my friends. Bye.